I'm here to declare my love for Sia. Everything she's ever written. <laughs> Thank God there's a big song catalog because it, that is what I use when I am sort of running on empty. I mean, I wouldn't want to star in it because I wouldn't want anything to be different about it at all. But I was obsessed with Michaela Cole's TV show, I May Destroy You. That just is still exploding my brain, but I, don't, I wouldn't want it to be any different. My favorite red carpet fashion moment of all time, <sighs> Oscar yellow dress. I don't, as a teen, I didn't really have any style inspiration. Marlon Brando is not inspiring. I was like pretty into like white t-shirts. I sure as hell do. Sia. I'm here to declare my love for Sia. Everything she's ever written. <laughs> Thank God there's a big song catalog because it, that is what I use when I am sort of running on empty. I turn her up and she gives me what I need to keep going. My gosh, I really, I've been doing this for so long. I've been acting for 30 years. I can't even imagine what another profession that I would have would be. I don't know, something where you like get to read books, but I don't think that they'd pay you to do that. The advice that I always give to um, actors is to not take any advice from business people. It's like a real defining feature of this profession is rejection. It's kind of, I think, what turns you into an actor, actually, is your ability to tolerate the word no over and over and over again. I, when I started acting when I was a kid, um, I auditioned for two years before I ever got a single job. That's the word no a thousand times. And it sort of develops it really tests your love for what you do. And if you wind up an actor after all of those no's, you must be meant for it. <laughs> Working with Steven Spielberg on such a personal film was really a personal experience for all of us. Um, for myself, for Paul Dano, for Seth Rogen. We knew how much it meant to Steven, obviously, and so to be asked into his family, into his heart, into his memories, was an experience that um, none of us have uh, will ever forget. Um, one of my favorite memories from set was probably when we were doing the camping scenes and we were all out in the woods and doing like lots of hijinks and silly things like riding the tree and that was um, probably a highlight. Something that I feel like I'm still reflecting on about this movie and about this character is her ability to uh, engage in, in deep, sustained play with her children and how influential, really, that was on all of her children's lives. I never really know what I'm looking for in a, in a role. It's not really premeditated. It's kind of like, it's like a reaction that happens when you read a script, or it doesn't. Um, and it's, it's a, sometimes I think it's sort of mysterious and, exciting and you kind of want to, you, you find yourself going towards something that you don't really understand or you want to learn more about and isn't something that you've played before or experienced before and so you're curious about it and you want to kind of solve the mystery. I have small children so I'm an everything person. I'm a round the clock person. I My kids have remade me into a person who does not need as much sleep uh, as I thought I did. Thank you for all your questions, bye.